Alhamdulillah, I'm back from Egypt, but when I tell you there are not enough social media posts I could possibly make that could truly encompass that trip, I'm not exaggerating. Because us as content creators who have been fundraising for these families to to evacuate Gaza into Egypt, we at least think that we're helping send them to a safer environment. And yes, it's a safer environment, meaning they're not at risk of being bombed at any moment. They're not in an active war zone. But that's about it. These families are still crossing over and going hungry. These families are still without medical aid whatsoever. The Egyptian government's doing nothing for these families. It's not as if they're, they're crossing over and they're in a refugee program. No, that's not existent. You know, remember that story from months ago of when Al Shifa Hospital was, was besieged, was, was taken by the IDF, and the incubator babies were just put out, and the mothers and the, and the babies and the incubators were just left to their own devices? We met some of those mothers. And one of the mothers had two babies. They fled Gaza into Egypt with two babies. She was in the Egyptian hospital for three weeks and just put out. That's it. After three weeks, they cut them off and they have no plan B. They have no other resources. There's not a transfer that occurs. None of that. She, one of her babies died. One of her two died because of it. And she said that she thought that she was saving both of her babies by fleeing Gaza into Egypt and she lost one of her babies anyway. I cannot, and I have story after story after story from just the short amount of time we had with these families. They still need help when they flee. They still need help when they are refugees in another location.